In a small town shrouded in mist and secrets, the discovery of a young woman's body sets off a chain of events that peels back the veneer of idyllic life to reveal a dark underbelly of mystery, desire, and despair. An enigmatic agent with a penchant for cherry pie and coffee delves into the tangled web of relationships and hidden sins, where every glance holds a secret and every whisper tells a lie. Here, the trees whisper of forgotten tragedies, the owls are not what they seem, and the dance of light and shadow reveals the thin line between the quaint and the terrifying pulling you into a world where nothing is as it seems, and everything is connected. Pete Martell stumbles upon the lifeless body of Laura Palmer, her youthful visage wrapped in plastic, a macabre doll set adrift on the lake's shore. The news spreads like a dark wave, reaching the ears of Sheriff Truman, whose solemn duty becomes informing Leland Palmer, Laura's father. His world shatters into grief, a haunting echo through the corridors of the Great Northern Hotel. The town stirs, a tableau of secrets and unspoken truths. In the high school halls, a girl's scream pierces the air, a visceral reaction to an unseen horror, while a solitary figure dances, disconnected from the unfolding tragedy. These eerie vignettes set the stage for Special Agent Dale Cooper's arrival, his sharp eyes and peculiar methods slicing through the town's facade. Cooper, with a detective's keenness and an almost childlike wonder for the town's natural beauty, becomes an unlikely beacon in the encroaching darkness. His fascination with the Douglas Firs stands in stark contrast to his grim task of examining Laura's body, where he discovers a tiny, ominous clue, a scrap of paper marked with the letter R. As the town reels, its inhabitants move like specters against the backdrop of loss. Bobby Briggs, Laura's boyfriend, confronts his own facade of bravado when faced with the law and his clandestine lover, Shelley, who shares her own fearful secrets of an abusive husband. Their trysts, fraught with danger and desire, paint a picture of a town ensnared by its own vices. Audrey Horn, a siren amid the chaos, dances her own tune, one of manipulation and mischief. She disrupts her father's business dealings with a calculated innocence, her words about the dead girl casting a shadow over the Norwegian's interest in the Ghostwood project. Her actions, though seemingly capricious, hint at deeper currents of rebellion and a craving for attention. As night falls, Cooper and Truman find themselves on a stakeout, the aroma of the woods a constant companion in their vigil. The arrest of James Hurley, a figure of quiet intensity and hidden depths, brings more questions than answers. His connection to Laura, a puzzle piece not yet placed, adds to the intricate mosaic of the town's sorrow and secrets. The police station becomes an unlikely sanctuary, donuts and coffee consumed with a near-religious fervor, as if these small comforts could ward off the encroaching darkness. Cooper, with his simple needs and astute observations, finds solace in the little things, a good bed, a bathroom, perhaps a TV, and the ever-present, aromatic trees. As the pilot episode draws to a close, the town of Twin Peaks, with its picturesque charm and lurking shadows, emerges as a character unto itself. The residents, each carrying their own burden of secrets and pain, move through their lives, forever changed by the tragedy of Laura Palmer. The woods, with their whispering pines and hidden truths, watch over them all, a silent guardian of the mysteries yet to unfold.